Hey, Richie here from RW Hobbies. I've been sent two airbrushes from a company called Galeri. I think I'm pronouncing it right. I've got the Ace and I've got the Advance. So the Advance is lower end, about 45 US dollars. The Ace is about 120 US dollars. I will put a link below um, in the show notes and also in the video if I remember with a code to get some extra discount. And I should mention I've been sent these free of charge and I quite clearly said to the company, hey, they reach out to me, I'll gladly review them, but I'll give you a, an unbiased video. So there's problems, issues, I will mention it in my video, which I will do um, as I spray and test these out. No disclaimer, as you know from my channel, I'm a model maker. Um, you can use airbrushes for all kinds of stuff, making cakes, well, spraying cakes, um, makeup, um, inks, all kinds of things. I'm a model maker, I'm pretty much using lacquer paints, um, occasional like synthetic acrylics like Tamiya, and um, that's what we're using today. So model maker, and we're using these, these airbrushes. Um, and again, sent for free, but hey, I'm not gonna say no, am I? So I'll give my true unbiased opinion. As you guys probably know, follow the channel. I am a big Pro Convoy fan. I have tons of their airbrushes, used them for years, and I'm very happy with them. So I'm interested in trying these out and um, yeah, see how they go. See what the differences are between the two as well. There's definitely different differences between these two. So let's go ahead and take a look, um, see what you get inside the box. All right, here down at the bench and um, got the two right here. We got the Advanced, then we got the Ace um, and we got my daily driver. Well used, well loved Pro Convoy Plan and Point Free. I absolutely love this airbrush. Used it for years, highly recommend it. Um, well, before I had these two. So yeah, I thought let's get it out and let's compare it against these two. Just get kind of apples to apples and you know, feel you know what difference is. So looking at these, we have two, again, we have the Advanced and the Ace. The Advanced is $49.99 currently on Amazon. The Ace is $119.99 on Amazon. So it's a little bit step up. There is a Supreme, which is gonna be like a level above, above that, um, like your custom Micron kind of level, but it's not available right now. It's still under production, under development. So we've got these two. So my thing was, okay, we got one for 50 bucks, one for $120. What's the difference here? Um, I took them out of the box last night. They both look very similar. And so I reached out to the company and um, they're super good at responding. And he gave me some really, you know, few parallels with emails here to explain the difference um, to make sure you guys are aware here. So basically um, the premium series airbrushes, um, which this one falls into, the advanced and the premium um, has a threaded structure which is similar to most iWater series, whereas the Ace features a quick self-centering structure similar to Hardware and Steambex design. Um, both have an eight um, mic micro air channel nozzle. Um, I think long story short, simplify this. Um, the needle on here does have, if you put it under a microscope, um, naked eye you won't see it. We'll have some small machining marks. This one's more highly polished. Um, the needles on this guy. Um, should mention too, you're getting two needles and nozzles in each kit. So you're getting a 0.35 and a 0.5 in advance. You get 0.38 and a 0.5 in the ace. Um, advance you get two color cups, you're gonna get one in the ace, um, strange enough. Now, 0 0.38, 0 0.35, you know, we're talking fractions of millimeters here. So for a casual user like myself making models, it's not gonna make much difference at all. Um, again, I make models, I'm not, you can obviously use airbrushing for makeup or cakes or all that stuff, but you know, I'm basing this upon my experience of you know, model making. The paint cups are different. Um, the Advanced series, this guy right here, um, undergoes a standard polishing process, whereas um, the Ace goes through a more special polish, polishing technique with multiple rounds of polishing. Um, it to, cre creates an interior surface, but like, you know, it's very smooth like a mirror, um, mirror grade in a cup. Also, this guy, the Ace One, goes through meticulous manual testing and calibration before leaving the factory. The process ensures that the alignment, um, you know, the needle, exceptionally high standard, and enhancing the airbrush, atomization, um, and really, you know, testing performance. Both do a great job um, saying, you know, general you know, purpose, both do a great job for very detailed work and very tight lines. This guy might be a little bit better option. Just going through my notes here, um, that's really it. Um, also, I did, did question the seals. Both of these come with Teflon seals. So we're great, you know, for spraying lacquer paints or anything more, you know, harsher than acrylics. Um, you're good to go. And you also get spare, um, as we'll see in a minute, you get spare um, seal sets as well, which is awesome. So pretty much last year for life with the airbrush. So again, Teflon seals on both of them. Um, so just kind of summarize, this guy's a little bit better made, better quality, um, and you know, and we'll see in a minute, we'll do a test. Um, this is, you know, pretty basic kind of use, but both great airbrushes. Um, well, according to the manufacturer, I'm not testing them yet. 
As I mentioned, $45.99. I think I mentioned $49. It's actually $45.99 for this one. This is $119.99. 4.8 stars on Amazon at the time of filming this. 4.6 stars um, review. So both solid reviews. So let's first we'll take this guy. Let's take the advanced one. Let's take a quick peek inside the box. So take the sleeve off, and we've got the bark box here. I kind of want to be careful here. I don't kind of get these guys mixed up as well. Make sure I know which one's which. So open it up and we've got a test sample from the actual airbrush itself. And one thing I like here too is you get nice instructions, a little quick start guide. And it you know, explains, you know, cleaning and different things here. So if you're a beginner, you know, nice little things to have. And as you can see, this is what we have in the box. We have the spare seals. This is this is a 0.5 um, nozzle in here and a 0.5 needle. We don't need to necessarily get those out. I believe it comes with a 0.35 inside it already. Um, airbrush itself, just a little cap. And we have two color cups. So I'll just take the smaller one. And just you know screw right on here. Okay, and that is, move this guy out of the way, your airbrush. And if I read it, it does say here in the number as well, um, what it is. So off the bat, feels decent, has a, um, the guy on the back, so you can limit, yeah, your, your um, you know, your, how much paint you bring out, which is kind of handy sometimes if you're a little bit heavy handed like me. So you just turn, turn it and then it will tighten up and um, yeah, so. You can see I can't, if I turn it a little bit, you can, it restricts how far you can pull it back. So it's dual action, so down for gas, um, or sorry, for air, and back for paint. Um, so if you want to do something very delicately, you can just put that set up, and then so you kind of go back a certain level. Um, open it way out, you know, more paint. Obviously, the further you pull back, the more paint will come out of the airbrush. So that's that guy. Um, again, comparing to my Procon. Oh, looking, looking the... Um, Feels decent in hand. Um, I think still think the Procon Boys, you know, feels nicer brush, um, nicer made. But nonetheless, um, fifty bucks. So there we go. That's um, this one, which is the advanced version. So let me kind of put this one here. Let's bring in the the Ace version. So same deal. And actually, we could probably compare the test samples, right? So right off the bat, you can see the lines. You know. How much tighter um, the lines we're getting with this one compared to this guy. Same quick start guide and this one you see we only have the one color cup um, which is interesting but as we mentioned earlier it's highly polished and a better quality so again more seals we do have the 0.5 nozzle and needle and it comes with the 0.35 in this one. So let me kind of screw this guy on. He's very, rarely, very tightly packed in here. Okay, I'm just gonna screw this on. Okay, so that, yeah. So you can see right off the bat, see this one, the color cup, how shiny mirror like that is and highly polished. This one is um, a little bit matter. This one is well used, um, so I'm not sure that this is maybe not a good comparison, but it's looking more like um, the lower end than the, the highly polished one. But again, I've used this for many years, so it could have just lost some of this um, sheen of my Procon Boy. So right off the bat, you can see a difference in there. Um, the brushes itself look identical. Um, they're exactly, as far as I can see, they're exactly the same kind of um, build frame and stuff. Um, obviously different materials. This is um, the high quality, supposedly. I'm um, looking for the needles here. Exactly the same looking. I'm just looking at needles.
Hmm. So yeah, so again, to naked eye, it does seem pretty similar. Um, again, this is um, a slightly better quality build, it does have the mirrored cup, and um, you know, we talked about some of the things built into it. So this is built more like a hardened steam back. Um, now look at it, it's different. I mean, see the back here. Um, this is more like the Iwata one, the cheaper end, um, but the, the Ace, um, yeah. So again, comparing it to my um, trusty Mr. Hobby. Interesting that, right? So I'm gonna go ahead now and put some paint through these, give it a quick go and see um, how these guys spray, which is the most important thing, right? Okay, so over here in the spray booth, excuse the mess. Um, so first thing, um, they both come with a quick disconnect on the airbrush, but with my um, actual hose here, it, well, actually this is one it came with, there's air leaking, it wasn't um, having a great seal here, it was leaking air. So I took it off and put my own one on, which came with this. Um, so it's a set and, and it, it no, there's no leaking air. So just a heads up, you don't get the um, the other part disconnect um, with the airbrush. So um, if you have a slightly different one, like I maybe I do, it, it's, you got to change both, put your own one on, which is not a big deal. So that one didn't work, it's leaking air. So I put my one on, which matches what I, um, the quick disconnect on my hose. Um, got a couple of pieces here I'm just gonna spray. Um, I'm going to put the, the vent on so it's going to make it a little noisy. Um, so it's some Tamiya paint, basic, um, the acrylic synthetic alcohol kind of paint, the um, XS7 red, um, pre-mixed. Um, red, so you can see it pretty easy, and we'll just give this guy a quick go. So did give, a, give the needle a quick little bit of lube just to kind of lube it up a little bit. And this is, again, the cheaper brush, which is the, um, the advanced one. So I'll put a little bit more paint in here. And we'll give it a go for the first time. So I'm going to throw that boob on here and um, spray and see how it goes. So I filmed um, the spraying these and realized during editing my hand was in front of the camera. So sorry guys, you're not going to see me spraying it. So I'm just going to forward, fast forward through these parts and um, cut to the chase and tell you kind of how these guys are both spraying. Okay, so that's a quick go. Uh, so just put some down there and you saw there's some fine lines and um, some squiggles and you kind of see what we've got here with the red. So let me quickly switch it out for the other airbrush and the, the, the Ace, which is the more expensive one, I see there's a real difference here. So I'm spilling paint all over myself. <laughs> let me wipe that off. All right, so flipping back to my Procon boy again. So I've got to say, this guy is tighter lines. Now I do have a custom Micron, um, which I'm not gonna to use today, but um, a very expensive airbrush, but this one gets the box standard one. Now this is old, and don't get me wrong, seals are probably a bit worn, I've used this a lot of time, but definitely getting a tighter line with this one. Um, just throwing down paint, Pro Procon boy, you know, great job. I mean, this don't get me wrong, this job does good too. But overall, it did spray really well. I would say if you're just throwing down primer or something, maybe this guy. But for sure, this one is definitely a step up the Ace um, for the extra money. So it definitely sprays a lot nicer having done both of them. Um, yeah, and, and for tight, you see the tight lines and squiggles, if that's your thing. Um, it's doing better than my Procon boys. So who knows? But again, caveat is this is old and um, yeah, it's maybe stretched nozzle, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, quite impressed with that one. Um, as you can see here, a little test um, springs some red. Now I'm gonna clean all this up and clean my hands up and um, we'll come right back and do a summary. Okay, so there we go, quick down and dirty spray. I know I, I could have sprayed different paints and different types and different needles and stuff. This was just a quick down and dirty use review, basically, just a quick test and that's what we did. So definitely a clear winner here. The uh, No surprises, the $120 Ace is definitely a lot nicer to spray than the $45 advance um just yeah way nice brush tighter lines um but saying that if you're just going to hose down paint i don't know building dioramas or just priming that kind of stuff this would be more than enough um or yeah any like, like less detail work um like cake maybe cakes and stuff that kind of thing this one would be perfect if you're model making you need some detail you know maybe working 70 second scale do modeling world war ii aircraft the ace um, 120 dollar one is definitely the way to go
maybe not quite such a fair comparison, you know, switching out the Pro Convoy. Um, this one definitely sprayed nice on Pro Convoy, but my Pro Convoy is probably four years old at least, and, or maybe three years old. And um, yeah, it's got tons of use. Um, the seal nozzle is probably, you know, a little bit kind of slack now and not quite as tight as a brand new airbrush. So maybe not quite an apples to apples, but still it sprayed really nicely and no complaints at all. So I will be using Ace, um, the more expensive brush, um, upcoming models and just kind of really seeing how it goes and, and testing it more. So if you want to find out more, check out my bench updates um, as you go along and you'll see, I'll give updates on how I'm liking this or not liking it. Um, as it goes on. So again, if you want to buy one of these, um, there will be a link below and um, knock yourself out. So thank you to Galeri for sending these to me and um, hopefully enjoyed this little video and I'll catch you next time. See you. Bye.